And as I'm saying this, I'm smiling. It's an absolute pleasure and a joy and a real treat for all of us to hear the wonderful pipes of the one and only Beverly Knight. absolutely brilliant Beverly thank you so much I knew you wouldn't disappoint that was outstanding and you said to Scott Mills recently that you want to break the mic I think you did absolutely that you absolutely shattered it what a great performance come as you are 20 years old you wrote that with with Guy Chambers right I happy did. memories oh I love Guy Chambers that was such a great time that was the first thing that we we kind of got in the studio and did together and it came off the back of me doing a version of Angels and yeah, he, he just said, oh, let's do something together. And that was the result. And it was just great, great times. When you walk into the studio, what's the reaction initially of people that you're working with? Because obviously you've got an amazing voice. They must think this is going to be easy. Do you know what I mean? I could just <laughs> give her anything else. She'll make it sound amazing. Most people are like, oh, you're, you're, you're louder than I thought. OK, right. Let's just uh, try and put some <laughs> compression on the old vocal to dampen it down a bit because it's a bit big for the mic. I like to have fun in the studio. If I'm not having fun, then why am I even here? Well, we it's... spoke on, on tracks in my years and yeah. one thing that came across evidently was your love 
for singing, your oh. absolute passion for your art and doing what you do. Yeah. And I said earlier on on the radio that watching you rehearse, you were like giving 99% and you said on the radio, well, you know, that's what I do. I, I, I can't stand in front of a microphone and not give 99% or 100% of, of everything, even in rehearsal, mm. which was superb. So the energy <laughs> that, you, that you generate and then you put through the microphone. Are you like that on a daily basis? Because if you are, you must be shattered. I'm generally quite energetic anyway, and I just love life. I love life, I love to sing, I love to do what I do, and I get to do it all the time. So what can be better? And it's a real treat, Pauls. It really is having you here in the piano room. We talked about Guy Chambers. We've got a clip from our archive of oh, you dear. two chatting about working together. Just listen to this. Go on. If you miss that top no. note, that high note, mm. you've lost the whole thing. Feel is a good example of that. That starts really, really That's low. That's really low. Mm. Yeah, it's, um, Tina's singing this next week. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Come Tina Turner, that is. Hair. She's singing it in this key. Come, Come and take my hand. Trouble. This is all very well, but imagine how high the and chorus is. And then the is. chorus is, I just want to feel real love, feel the home that I live in. <laughs> happy memories. Oh, God, really happy. I sound about seven. <laughs> Guy sounds really posh. I, I, I know. Yeah? I know. <laughs> Last time we spoke on Tracks of My Ears, hmm. you talked about the fifth chapter. Yes. Uh, turning a certain age, which yeah. we both are. How is it going, entering this stage of your life? 50 is great. Don't let anybody tell you any different. You just, I don't know, you feel as though you've got a second wind behind you and you're coming into your power. I feel like super Bev right now. Oh, I think we're all <laughs> going to embrace that. We really are because there's a lot, a lot, a large section of our audience who are exactly mm. the same age as yeah. yourself and me. And I get that a lot on the messaging. Oh, do you know what? It's only a number because I still feel 19. I still yeah. feel energised by life, which is exactly, a good thing. Exactly, which is good. Which is and so. because your voice is obviously your instrument that you yeah. work with and uh, it's something that you've been given and something that we enjoy. Do you practice? Do you keep it on point? Do you do that regularly every day? I sing pretty much every single day. I have done since I was, since I could talk. So for me, singing is as natural as talking. I'll be having a conversation and someone will say something and I'm like, oh, there's a song in that. And then, you know, invariably some song that I've heard before, I will invoke and start singing. Let me ask you, a family do, do people push you forward still? Go on, Bev, sing. Well, all my family sing. This is the thing, you see. Everybody in my, my family can sing. I'm seeing so. tour. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's move swiftly on. Let, let's, get, yeah. let's get the gift onto Radio 2 again. What are you going to do this time? So this is from the fifth chapter, and this is oh, it's a glorious song called Not Prepared For You. Look at your eyes pulling me in, taking me Look at my heart under your feet on the ground Look at me now, can someone tell me how I got in this position I'm in Look at my hands, they just can't stay off of you Look at my lips, they're stuck to yours like you Thought I was so strong, but you proved me so wrong Never thought I'd ever see me like this Been through a tidal wave, a hurricane Been through all that and more Nothing like this before I was not prepared for you Not prepared Not prepared So hard, knock me right off of my feet. And now I'm here, left with what's left of me. For the reason my pride's ripped to pieces. 
I've said this before when I first entered the piano room, that when you finish singing, when all of our artists finish singing, desperate to clap and whoop and <laughs> holler. Do you know what I mean? Because it, it really does deserve that, so I'll do it. Yay! Beverly Knights, everyone! Oh, oh my God, this made that was mega! <laughs> so I will thank take everyone's you. excitement and I, and I will let it go because it was so good. And thank you, the BBC Concert Orchestra, on fine form as per usual. It's a really good atmosphere, isn't it? When it's, you come oh, in. this is great! This is brilliant. I mean, this is, for me, I've got a mic, I've got a band, I've got an orchestra. I'm at home. <laughs> we've got tea. We can tell, and it, you, we've had a huge reaction on 88291. Wow, just wow. Aww. Welcome to today's edition of Setting the Bar Ridiculously High. Aww. Beverly is just a supreme <laughs> talent. Can't wait to see you at the Royal Albert Hall in September. That's from Craig in Norwich. Hey, Vernon, tell Beverly she has the best voice in the world. Aww. Bar none. Wonderful yes. performance today, says Phil. Uh, we've got some questions from listeners. Oh, yeah. And these are always really good. This one's from Kelly. It's Kelly here from Vista in Oxfordshire. I saw you on the stage in Memphis a few years ago. Oh. Do you prefer performing on the stage in a musical or on the stage as a pop star? Oh, great question. Oh, my gosh. I am a singer to my core to my absolute core. When I'm in a company with, in theatre, it's brilliant because it's all of us together and we make this spectacular thing. When I'm on stage by myself, it's, pretty, it's me. <laughs> it's me and the whole thing is on me and I, the whole performance is judged by what I'm doing as opposed to the show. Ultimately, you know, you cut me open, I, I bleed music. I really do. And you're going back to Sister Act, aren't you? I'm going back to Sister Yay. Act in March. I can't wait. <laughs> it's dead good. Hey, can you remember your lines? Do you know what? I can remember a lot of them. I remember the songs, no problem. Yeah, but yeah. The, 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 the lines, yeah. I'll, I'll need some rehearsing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is our last question from Lee. Yep. My name is Lee. I'm from Appleby. Question for Beverly Knight. Of all the artists that are no longer with us, who would she have loved to have a duet with? Oh, that's a brilliant question. I, well, Sam Cooke passed 10 years before I was born, but I'd have loved to have sung with Sam Cooke. Just that voice is incredible. 
But to be honest, I missed Whitney. I'd have loved to sing with Whitney. Oh, the list now. You're ready for this list. <laughs> I'd have loved to sing with Whitney. I'd have loved to have sang with Aretha. Oh, my God. I'd have been something else. And George Michael, because I was so close. We were going to make it happen. And um, just various things got in the way. And then he, he, he left us. Mm. So, George. But you did great. sing with Prince. But I sang with Prince. That was everything. Let's take a moment. <laughs> Beverly has sang with Prince. Mm -hmm. uh, it's time now for your cover version. Yes. What are you going to do for us, please? This is a very exciting moment for the piano room. I'm really excited. Really excited. Are you ready? I'm going to do Radiohead's Just. Thank you, Beverly Knight. <laughs> Look at you, but not your friends. One day he'll get to you and teach you how to be a holy cow. You do it to yourself, you do. And that's what really hurts. You do it to yourself, just you. You and no one else. You do it to yourself. Hanging out the 15th floor You changed the lot three times You'll still come reeling through your door One day I'll get to you To show you how to get to pure Hey, how you do it to yourself Just you. 